Hello, this is Donald Kinney here doing the commentary for my Gideon music video, uh, also known as the Zombie Attack music video. Um, really, the the key to success with this project was uh, the involvement of body and blade swordsmanship. Uh, that. That guy right there, uh, pretending to be my bodyguard, is Phil Cruz. Uh, he's the assistant, or assistant instructor, to Mr. Jake Pretty, who uh, is not actually in the movie, but he was the the main uh, action choreographer, and uh, just did a fantastic job. He does a lot of uh, does a lot of work for theater groups, and stuff like that, and uh, uh, that was a fun shot. That's my son there that I just uh, belted with the guitar. So uh, that's we had a good time uh, getting him made up as a zombie. Uh, mean Models, uh, uh, Megan Clevenger of uh, Mean Models um, did the makeup for us on the first day of shooting and uh, just did a fantastic job. There's uh, Michi and Taylor. Uh, Michi and Taylor. Uh, with the trainer blades, I don't know, some people notice and some people don't that here in the first part, oh and there's, that's Megan uh, just got stabbed by accident uh, when Taylor was coming to uh, try to rescue her from the zombie and ended up stabbing her, stabbing right through the zombie and stabbing her, which isn't clear. Um, yeah, these parts were interesting, it was really hard to to shoot that between the trainer swords and all the uh, miscellaneous people who were walking their dogs through the shots that day. <laughs> Taylor was great. It was really hard to trim down his faces that he made transforming into a zombie. That's Henry that he just that just got bitten there. Uh, he was our cameraman and uh, he did, did a great job on uh, shooting a lot of this footage. Uh, I believe my wife is shooting these shots where Henry is, is being a zombie and getting thrown around by Phil and Charlie there. That's a great, I wish we had gotten a little bit better shot of that flip over where Charlie does a roll over Phil's back to kick Taylor. That was a really cool move and we only, only half got it in the frame. And uh, that's my buddy Lance whose neck I just snapped. That was that was a lot of fun doing that scene. Unfortunately, he was only available for a limited time, so we had to, you know, just kill him off very abruptly, kind of out of nowhere. But um, and that was something that I learned in this project was uh, I actually did an old white crane kung fu move that uh, some of you might recognize uh, from Street Fighter II, the Hadouken. Um, but leading into that, there's a double palm strike to the head, um, which is barely visible. If you really look for it, you can catch it. You know, people who watch a lot of kung fu movies might catch it. But uh, that's something in the future. If I'm going to do realistic martial arts striking, I'm going to have to film at a higher frame rate so that I can get those shots. I'd like to have a blood splatter on that where I cut his guts with the sickle. Um, maybe one of these days I can go back and add the blood splatter. I need to do a, a reframe a couple of these shots anyway and uh, obviously um, something that people notice is that both of these guys Alan who I just threw down there and then uh, Taylor uh, who you can see in the background they're having a root beer um, they both get impaled with a sword and Taylor in particular you never even see the sword get pulled out of his torso uh, and <laughs> yet so um, there's, a, there's a couple holes in the in the thing there. We could have at least done a blood stain on the shirt or something. And then this is the only sound effect right here. Boom! When I do the final punch uh, to finish off the ringleader zombie, the one that started it all. And then that final shot, uh, you'll see my my baby is a zombie. And we don't know it yet as we're leaving, so. This is a routine, you know, one of the basic routines that they do at Body and Blade. And then this is the outtakes. This is a, an amazing shot here where it, it really looks like she gets stabbed. I was really tempted to use that. It just, 
didn't work as well the way I wanted to cut the scenes together because he actually stabs that blunt edge sword right through our t-shirt well thank you guys for watching uh, I hope you've enjoyed it see you again soon